What's good everybody? We are back again for another NBA 2K22 video and today we are making our first ever jack of all trades. I've never created this build before and I've heard some good things about it, all right? This dude is gonna be able to score from every spot on the court. So before we even get into this, hit the subscribe button if you guys wanna be updated and notified when I do drop another video. Also ring that bell because that'll make sure that you get those notifications. Now smash the like button on this video to make sure that we can get into that YouTube algorithm. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and figure out how to create this jack of all trades. All right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and start off with the position being a point guard. I want to be a point guard. We're going to get the rock. We, we're going to go crazy, all right? For our hand, we went right-handed, jersey number. We can go 23. You know what I'm saying? It's completely up to you, but we're going with these two right here. All right, so what pie chart is going to allow us to take over and be a jack of all trades? Now, the pie chart that we will be using for today is I wanted to make sure that I had Hall of Fame when it came to scoring, and we're going with the green and blue pie chart. You could go right here, but you'll get the goal shooting, which is still fine. You know what I'm saying? It's still fine, but I still wanted to have my fair share of Hall of Fames, especially after, you know, you hit level 39, you get them extra badges. So, you know, this build is only going to get a lot better, all right? Now for the physical pro the physical profile or the physical pie chart, I did go speed and vert. You can go full speed if you really wanted to, but I went speed and vert. You know, I'm just trying to dunk on people and whatnot and get some rebounds. So when it comes down to our potentials, this is where it gets a little tricky, but just know at the end of making this build, you are going to be able to do almost everything with the ball in your hands, bro. Like it, this build, I could see why people like it. All right, so for your close shot, we're gonna go with a 77. And then for our driving layup, we're gonna go 88. Driving dunk, we're gonna go 77. Our standing dunk is going to be a 50. And then our post hook is going to be an 86. That is going to go ahead and allow us to have 18 finishing badges. That is already insane. When it comes to our shooting, our mid range is going to be an 83. Our three point shot is going to be an 81. And then our free throw will be an 88, giving us 18 shooting. When it comes to our playmaking, pass accuracy, we want that at a 77. Our ball handle is going to be an 81. And then our post control will be a 49, giving us 14 playmaking. And then this is where, you know, the decline starts. And this is where our perimeter is going to be a 74 our lateral quickness 74 and then our rebounding 42 offensive and then a 63 defensive giving us only one defensive badge now a jack of all trades is definitely not going to be known for its defense it's going to be known because this is going to be a build that's going to get a bucket that's one thing i know about this jack of all trades it's going to get a bucket so 18, 18, 14, and one. Now, when it comes down to this, I don't really fear just having one defensive badge just because I know if you hit level 39 this season and you hit it last season, you got two extra badges, bro. Like, I'm not really tripping, but this is a rare build for sure. This is a rare build. All right, so when it comes down to our body shape, we're gonna go defined. And then for the height, we're gonna go six foot five okay six foot five and then our weight we're going to go ahead and put our weight to 184 if you go up one you start losing acceleration a little bit so we're going to go where we can at least get that acceleration to the max you feel me so 184 and then our wingspan is going to be maxed out at 86 inches and then look like look, look at the stats on this build bro like your driving dunk is still going to be ridiculous. You're, you're, bro, you're going to be able to finish around the rim. You're going to be able to shoot the three. You're going to be able to do everything that you want on top of being able to dribble and ISO. So it's like, what? 86. And then I feel like the hardest part is to choose your takeover. Of course, you can go slashing if you really wanted to, you know, rim run. Or you can go spot up. You know what I'm saying? The rim run game is not going to be hard. But you can still, you know, 
step back and shoot the three you feel me so we're gonna go with the sharp and then you see we have created jack of all trades bill russell westbrook okay 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 so we're gonna go ahead and test this build out real quick so i can show you some of the potential badges that you could equip on this build and then you guys are going to be free to go all right so when it comes to the finishing the most important badges are of course going to be your limitless takeoff your poster i can see unstrippable because people are going to just wait for you to rim run sometimes um fearless is going to be one that we're going to want slithery and then what else maybe a fast twitch other than that i think we are good so now we can go and start putting these badges up real quick we can go here and then maybe a slithery on gold all right so as we grind out the seasons and all that and get more badges to place on our build we can easily get more hall of fame badges on this player so i'm i'm happy about that all right so gold silver hall of fame and one bronze i'm liking that i'm really liking that all right so for the shooting there's really not too many shooting badges that we must have but i mean some of these are going to be very important like sniper and uh hot zone hunter other than that you could probably put that and then i would say hmm i would say maybe a silver dead eye and then you could just go crazy with like this for real for real you could just go crazy like this unless you want to stop and pop it's completely on how you guys want to play but yeah these hall of fame badges are definitely going to come in clutch now when it comes to playmaking we're going to need our bullet passer we're going to need our handles for days we're going to need our unpluckable we're going to need our tight handles a little bit quick first step is a must and then we got one more maybe go with a hmm maybe a glue hands if not i could definitely see us going with a tight handles on gold so the this is this would be our playmaking badges right here we definitely don't get no hall of fame but i'm liking the spread right here all right so now for our one defensive match we're just gonna go ahead and put that maybe on like clamps bro <laughs> our one defensive badge but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this rare build this is the jack of all trades and nba 2k 22 current gen i almost said next gen this is the current gen version of it if the next gen version looks even better y'all let me know down below in the comment section but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video we're going to be dropping videos i'm going to try to keep the uploads as consistent as possible you guys have somewhat been rocking with these build videos i'm just going to keep them coming for you guys and you know hopefully you guys enjoy them i know new builds are going to be be created very soon because it's almost christmas you know what i'm saying but thank you guys for watching if you're new hit the subscribe button and uh if you if you even made it this far make sure to smash the like button on this video because it will truly help this video hit the recommended all right but thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next video